hello hello guys uh, it's bongi here from jpv technologies let's go ahead guys uh, we have um, a nice asas uh, it's a nice asas one gig uh, graphics card i5 processor yeah anyway it's 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 nice guys i won't lie to you nice let's press the power button okay it's not turning on do we, do we have a charger yeah i know but we do have a battery anyway let's try to plug in a charger this came like this guys uh, no ram no hard drive no back cover just like this but let's go ahead let's see what exactly it does here i'm using a power supply okay so i'm using a power supply guys mm, let's check this is a power supply i'm using this power supply exactly this one okay as you can see the prop there we have red and we have uh, black as you can see in my case uh, red and black I'm using a power supply this is a, a DC bench power supply and again you need a multimeter for this job of which the, I'm using this multimeter but more importantly my power supply I have a, a red cord and I have a black cord so the, the, the black one you connect it to ground okay let's try to open this pc but i think it's dead because the owner he did advise that the, uh, the pc is dead uh turn on the power supply okay the power supply is not turning on which means it's not plugged in let me plug in the plug here guys you i'm tired okay see okay the power supply is on okay let me turn it off turn it on oh wow oh wow oh wow guys anyway uh there is a short okay oh there is a short uh i turned on the the power supply and uh it shows me that it's shorted the board it's shorted this means the 19 volts it's shorted okay but before i confuse you guys let me repeat again you need a multimeter and you need a dc bench power supply let's go back to our checklist list number one you check your charger uh, of which in this case uh, i'm using a power supply so my power supply is working 100 percent i know so then the first thing that you do when you are repairing a dead laptop you check your charger step number one step number two do a physical inspection uh, anyway let's go ahead uh, let's do a physical inspection uh, i'm gonna okay anyway i'm gonna strip the board and remove everything here step by step okay doing a physical inspection okay uh let's talk about my tools okay hope you can see this uh, okay this is a blind tool so what you do uh the first thing that you do you okay sort of all that my sheet can just uh turn on automatically so what you do you remove the keyboard under the keyboard you remove some screws as uh, you can see the owner tried uh, to fix the, this laptop by himself anyway uh, let's go ahead so this is how you open a laptop put your apply tool here all right then put it aside and then uh, let's see let's room okay anyway let's leave the thing there let's try to remove the board okay everything is easier it's easy here it's 
because uh, the owner he tried uh, to uh, to repair this laptop by himself let's just pray and hope uh, hope that he didn't uh, damage the board or make things uh, more or less let's just pray okay well actually I'm removing the heat sink uh, because I want to see the components underneath the heat sink Go ahead. Remove the fan. Okay. Let's go back to our checklist. Uh, okay. Do a physical inspection. Uh, let's do a physical inspection. Okay. Hey, the board is dead. There is dust. There is dust all over the board. Guys, uh, I'm not sure if you know that you can, uh, you can see a shorted component by just using your eyes. Telling you, I've done this several times. Even here, it's possible. I can just point out a shorted component or a shorted uh, capacitor. So, capacitors, uh, ceramic capacitors, hey guys, they die now and then. They die now and they get shorted now and then. So, when you are checking or observing uh, check for capacitors especially I'm not saying don't check other things but I'm just saying check for ceramic capacitors and here we know that we have a short on the 19 volt so I would recommend that we check uh, on the 19 volt components it can't be uh, 3.3 volts or 5 volts, nope, but it's uh, 19 volts. It can be uh, a component from a 5 volts, 3 volts, or from a CPU, but that component is linked or it's connected with a 19 volts. Okay, where's the charge? I mean, where's the charging port? This is the charging pin. Okay, this guy, I remember very well, he said uh, there was something, uh, something uh, shorted. Seems like he saw something physically. Uh, I remember very well, he told me that there, there, was, uh, there was something. How's this possible? Can't find a shorted capacitor. How's this possible? Or maybe uh, the MOSFET is shorted. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the problem is the, is the MOSFET. It's possible. Okay, so uh, one thing that's how uh, I usually I like to do. I like to remove the CPU. Okay, let's remove the CPU. why I'm removing the CPU it's because uh, whenever I'm uh, whenever I inject uh, power uh, maybe let's say I'm looking for a short using a power supply I don't like to inject power when the CPU is connected 
like I don't know why I feel like uh, maybe in my 19 volt is gonna go straight to a CPU something like that but I don't feel good I won't lie to you guys of which is possible if maybe one um, if maybe a uh, MOSFET uh, from the uh, CPU and if maybe one of them uh, is shorted it's possible they just can send the 19 volt straight to a CPU anyway enough about this guys I can't find the shorts let's use a Makoya thing let's use a Makoya thing let's use a microscope let's have a look under the microscope okay sorry about that my guy here almost fell but anyway let's use a microscope let's use a microscope let's use a microscope okay we have a board here to try to clean it so it is the case so anyway uh, I was doing a physical inspection again uh, I was trying to check uh, maybe to see if I can locate a shorted capacitor, uh, a ceramic capacitor, the special. But it's bad because I can't. Okay. I can't see a single thing here, guys. Okay, so what you do, and let's take the microscope. I want to show you guys. I want you to be happy with every step. Uh, I want you to be happy. So we start here. We start from the charging port, and then we use our multimeter. This is the uh, multimeter. Here we go. But in this case, I'm using this one. This is mine. This is mine. So what you do, you turn your multimeter into continuity mode let me repeat again and then you take one pole you connect it to ground this is ground this is ground this is ground screw holes are ground let me show you now the screw holes you touch or uh, you put or you touch here okay it's ground so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna put one as you can see stand there it's because it's ground and then with with this other one you use it to check uh, I mean to search uh, for shots I'm starting from here there is no shots as you can see on my multimeter there is no shots and then let's continue again even here obvious there's no shots because from here it goes straight to, to here and there's no shot that is let's go straight here on the first MOSFET and I think we only have this MOSFET but after the MOSFET we have a shot you can hear you can hear the sound see the multimeter as well we have a shot all right we have a shot okay let me explain uh, why I'm doing this so that you won't be confused let's move the microscope out of our way okay guys remember um, when I first uh, started step number one you check your charger in this case I didn't have a charger so what I was using, I was using what? I was using a power supply. I was using a DC bench power supply. I was using this thing, a DC bench power supply. So usually, uh, a power supply, when there is a short on that uh, line, uh, this light, you see this green light, you will have a red light here if there is a short. And the power will drop maybe from 20 volts to drop maybe to 5 volts or to any volt. And then here on the amps, you will have maybe uh, maybe two amps, depending on, uh, on on how strong your shorts. But in my case, 
something was uh, was withdrawing two amps and this light it was red well this light it turns to red and it is dropped to here to cc and it becomes a red meaning there was a short so there was no need to plug in a, a power supply here and check that here i'm getting 19 volts here i'm getting zero no this, it's common sense because there was a short the power supply told me that there's a short so now what i'm doing here i'm looking for a short and how do you look for shorts you connect one prop to ground it can be positive as you can see in my side in my case it's vice versa but it doesn't matter because the machine just on the continuity mode so i'm touching here on the mosfet there's no shorts but on the other side there is a short and i, I and i showed you everything and how do we locate the shorts we use the power supply again how connect uh ground here you know where right on the screw holes here connect your ground here on the screw hole and then we use uh, okay let me just use this okay i'm using this using this i want to inject the 19 volts or the 10 volts where there's a short but i no let's just inject 19 volts because this is a 19 volt uh power ray okay you inject okay let me show you how so that you won't be confused or you won't make any any mistake uh let's go back see you inject here you touch here you can even touch here see in this case i can just touch here see i'm just gonna touch here see on top of this thing up here just here okay let's go back touch there where i showed you and you search for what is getting hot let me turn on the power supply something is taking two amps Okay, the problem is here. Something was getting hot here. Something was getting hot here. Let's check the other side. Okay, so guys, something was getting hot here. hey guys i'm telling you here you don't have uh the alcohol but anyway i will see we will see what i'm gonna do because i don't have the alcohol because i don't have the alcohol let's inject Something's getting hot here. Something's getting hot here. Here. Here, guys. Yeah, something's getting hot here. Okay. I don't think do you think maybe it's on this side hey, I don't know but again uh, let's have a look here let's have a look
Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Let's check this two. Uh, this two uh, MOSFETs. Okay, guys. Uh, in this case, I don't have alcohol. Uh, I'll lie to you. I don't have alcohol. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use an old method. And what is an old old method? It's simply let's remove uh let's remove this this MOSFET it's four of them so we'll see which one shorted we will check one by one I think again doing this it will help us to understand and uh, to learn how to check for a shorted MOSFET manually so I think there you guys you're gonna learn something out and this is out as well so let's go back here let's check for a short let's check for a short after removing these two MOSFETs uh, let's check for a short on the board Still, we have a short. Okay, this means the short is not coming. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's not coming. It's not coming. Yep, it's not coming from this guys here. Now, let's remove this two on the other side. okay uh, this one is bleeding why this one is bleeding is it bad why this guy is bleeding Okay, we have two MOSFETs here. I'll show you under the microscope. Let's check them. Here they are, one by one. Let's check them for shots. guys they are not short yet this means the short not coming from this okay this what about this two here do you think it's possible what about this two let's start with this one
Okay. Let's check this guys for short. This is not shorted. Okay, this one is shorted. All right, here. Let me show you where the short was coming from. From this guy. So this is how you check the MOSFET. You touch this side and then you touch the other side. And there is a continuity. It's beeping. My multimeter is beeping. Let me show you. Uh, under. Under your camera. Under your phone. I hope you can see the multimeter. It's beeping one way. Okay, guys. Yeah. Although I was using a, a very very stupid method, but anyway, uh, we didn't have a, a, any blender. So what I'm gonna do now? Let's put this guy aside, and let's put back the other MOSFETs one by one. Let's put them back one by one. Now I can't now, now I can't even see where I was removing this MOSFET. Okay, and then let's check another one. I believe this is the one. Okay. Then let's put another one. I think here the last two. The first one, then this one is over here. Okay, and then this one. Guys, do you need the microscope or oh, you can see? But I know, guys. But I know you guys, your, your eyes are very, 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 very strong. They can see from the distance. Okay, here now. Let's put this one. Okay, now we are left with one. We need one. We need one. We need, we, we need one. Of which this is the one short set, but it was on the other side. So we need one. We need one. Uh, let me take a spare MOSFET. Okay, guys. Uh, I do have a spare MOSFET, but uh, the thing is, they are not the same. So, I can't know what I'm gonna do. See here, this is the one. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, hope you can see. Ok, 
okay and then see the other one to set it different but uh, let me show you what is uh, important here okay so uh, the, the other MOSFET okay 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 let's go online uh, let's go along let's go online okay so what you do search the, the MOSFET number it's written on top of the MOSFET there will be four digit number then so this one is six five zero zero four and then you say it uh shit and Wi-Fi is giving me some issues. Anyway, uh, never mind. I will just do a video uh, explaining how to check components uh, step by step. Anyway, let's just continue. Let's uh, let's install. Okay. Have a look. Yep. So nice. The other side, it's nice as well. Uh, let's go back and check uh, for a short. Okay, I'm gonna repeat again. You take one probe, connect it to ground, and then the other one you use it to test. Multimeter, make sure it's on uh, it's on the continuity mode, and then we check. See, there's no shots. There's no shots anymore. There's no shots anymore. Remember. Here there was no shorts, but on the other side there was one, there was a short. See even here no shorts. See even here no shorts. Okay guys, I'm happy the short head has been sorted out. See there's no shorts at all. Anyway, uh, let's put back everything step by step. Ah uh, I believe uh, we now have a, a working PC. Alright. Where's the CPU? Oh, okay. I think, uh, guys, okay. CPU is here. I remember I removed uh, the CPU. Excuse. Okay, it's back.
anyway there is no rem here hey guys i don't know so the owner just gave me a pc uh, without any rem without anything i i don't know uh, let me just be honest i don't know but hey anyway you know the store as long as the pc is turning on yeah there i think that will be my job does turn on and charge the battery yeah that's it other things i'm not uh not involved of course they just send the pc without any room without anything let's see 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 okay so anyway i have a, a fault in them here i think it's false but anyway let's just find out but it's what i need to see i need to see if the pc is turning on i need to see if the pc is working or not uh, let's go ahead dead hearts i need to see need to turn on need to turn on and work let's see i remember there was a short Shorts from the 19 volts. Let's just pray uh, that I'm not dealing with a uh, PC that has a uh, multi, multi fault, or multiple fault. Okay. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Have the light. See the light. We have the lights and anyway, when the problem has been solved. Okay, I'm so happy. Even here we do have a light. Oops. Anyway, what is that? Okay, let's check. Something just happened today. Oh, the fan, guys. The fan is broken. The fan is faulty. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. The fan is faulty anyway. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Okay, I hope you saw. Anyway, I'm not. I don't think I'm. I'm involved uh, in a in, in a faulty uh faulty thing. So let's try a different one. Let me go. Let me go. But the fan is faulty, guys. The fan. The fan is dead. It's broken. Anyway, I hope you head the sound uh it was, it was sound more like a tractor anyway it's dark uh do this thing by purpose i switch off the lights so that you will see so that you will see that we do we do have a light on the pc it's turning on even the the lights here it turns on Meaning our job has been uh, okay. Now it's not turning on. Okay, I know why. We didn't connect the cable here, the power button. K 
Okay, now the power button is connected. Okay, it's turning on. Hope you can see the light. Even here as well, you can see the light. Yeah. Anyway, this is it. But the fan is full, you guys. See, see the fan. See the fan. It's making the trick. See the fan. Yeah, okay, we have a faulty fan there. Doesn't move. Anyway, we'll have to change the fan. But the thing is now, why there's no display? That's my question now. Why there's no display? it's off okay it means okay it means uh, the fan it's possible that the fan damaged the, the, uh, the thing the CPU it's probably possible because if we have a broken fan there's a chance that the CPU it's uh, it's dead can we let me just try to turn it on. Can we check everything step by step? I think yeah we can. I think we can change the CPU. Okay, let's go ahead. But now it's gonna it's gonna check my time. Is it worth it anyway guys or no? No, 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 no. Anyway, the main job was done. Let me just stop the video. Anyway, oh, no, no, no. I'm not happy. Let me just finish the job. Although, this is not my job, but let me just change the, the thing. Okay, first, um, see the fan. Fan is broken. Turn on the light, the fan is broken. Okay, you know what? Let me remove the power button uh, from here. We need the power button. Oops. Let's hope I didn't damage. Oh yeah, I didn't damage the power button. Cable came out. Okay, down. Okay, let's try another one. Now we can try the three RMs. Now I'm concerned why we don't have a display unless if the string is not connected. You see, guys, I don't know what they did. So, anyway, you can't blame me because I don't know what they did. I don't know what the owner did here. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, what's the pin? This 
to the pin let's uh, connect uh, engine volt and then let's connect ground here okay turn on the power press the power button with whatever light part of the fan is not spinning broken fan is not spinning to have all the light but the fan is not spinning sound the thing ay 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 baba anyway now we are done here guys hope you learned but I'll tell the owner to change the fan change the CPU yeah hope you hear hope you saw this hope you hear you heard the sound it was uh, spinning one way yeah Anyway, what can we do? Shop, shop, guys.